Wang Ning, Fujian's newly appointed governor, stressed there is great potential for strengthened cooperation between Fujian and Macau. The province will faithfully carry out the spirit of General Secretary Xi Jinping's important vision on Hong Kong and Macau work and continue to strengthen collaboration between the two regions with the development of the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area and Pan Pearl River Delta. This will expand construction of the Belt and Road Initiative, as well as the digital economy, the marine economy, financial services, Chinese medicine, and other industries. Wang Ning recently attended the 2020 Pan Pearl River Delta Regional Cooperation Chief Executive Joint Conference in Sanya, Hainan Province. He met with He Yicheng, the Chief Executive of Macau's Special Administrative Region, and his delegation. They both expressed goodwill, sought cooperation, and development. Wang Ning thanked Macau's SAR government and other sectors on behalf of Fujian's provincial government and Fujian's provincial party committee for their consistent support of Fujian's development. He praised the SAR government's effective governance in handling the pandemic, specifically in preventing COVID-19 and ensuring the region's stability. Yue Guo, secretary of Fujian's provincial party committee, even extended an invitation to He Yicheng to visit Fujian. Wang made known that Fujian has achieved outstanding results in the prevention of the pandemic and promotion of economic and social development, despite the onset of the pandemic. Currently, the province is faithfully carrying out the spirit of General Secretary Xi Jinping's important instructions to promote high-quality development in all aspects. Wang Ning was asked by He Yicheng to convey his earnest greetings to Yu Wei Guo, Secretary of Fujian's Provincial Party Committee. He Yicheng expressed gratitude to the provincial government as well as the entire Fujian Provincial Party Committee and most of the Fujianese in Macau who supported the SAR government's good governance in accordance to the law and the positive contributions made to uphold Macau's long-term success and stability. He emphasized that Macau and Fujian have always maintained friendly relations and that the two have become even closer in recent years, and more trade deals and cooperations. The Macau SAR government has committed to implementing the One Country, Two Systems policy, actively seizing major opportunities towards the construction of the One Belt, One Road initiative and a new Fujian. The government is also committed to creating new mechanisms, new methods, strengthen trade and investment, technological innovation in the fields of financing, debt issuance and traditional Chinese medicine. Ultimately, the aim is to promote cooperation between the two sides at a broader and higher level to create a better life for people in both places. Since China's economic reform, Macau has become the country's gateway to the outside world. Geographically, Fujian and Macau are quite close. Population-wise, there are more than 100,000 Fujianese in Macau, accounting for one-fifth of the population there. Macau played an enormous role in contributing to the opening up of Fujian, making trade packs and deals with the province. Cooperation between the two regions has been expanding continuously, especially after the return of Macau. Some say Fujian is the nucleus of the 21st century's maritime Silk Road, while Macau is the key node in the construction of the Belt and Road Initiative. What is for certain is that the cooperation between Fujian and Macau is accelerated by the construction of the Belt and Road Initiative.